participants and describe their purposes. So stay tuned for the next video. Now let's go over finding your future flow. Finding your future flow. Number one, to find your future flow, you need to believe in yourself. And believing in yourself is going to require you to dig deep. You're going to dig deep because this is going to bring out a new chapter in your life. When we say enhance your future self, find your future flow, it's going to require you to obtain new skills. And it's understandable that those new skills may be hard to obtain, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. So believe in yourself to adapt, be receptive, and have the ability to obtain new skills. We strive for new skills because we seek growth. When we want to level up and when we want to enhance your future self, you are looking for growth. And just like I said earlier in the video, make sure that you are not the smartest person in the room. So you are continually subconsciously challenging yourself by being part of conversations that you normally would not hear. And this is a way that you can obtain new skills and seek growth just by simply being in the room. We seek enjoyment from challenges. When you want to enhance your future self, when you want to level up, it's going to require you to respect the process. And to respect the process, that means putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, stepping out of your comfort zone, and seeing the positivity that comes from that challenge alone. It's difficult to sometimes see a future that you have not yet experienced yet. It might be overwhelming and you might start feeling anxious when you start thinking about, man, I'm going to have to do this, do that, communicate with this or this unknown or go here. All of those things can be filled up with whatever it is that you can think about in your brain. But at the same time, to take a step back and say to yourself, is what I'm thinking a reality or is this a made up scenario that I'm telling myself because I am fearful? Fearful is okay. Being nervous, it's okay. Being anxious, it's okay. And it's still finding the enjoyment in all of that because you know well just like back in the day we used to say and probably still people still say today no pain no gain alright for muscles you have to go through some pain so that you can to get to that next level and right now that pain may be stepping out of your comfort zone so you can seek new skills so you can grow. So we're going to seek enjoyment from these challenges. Tell yourself this temporary situation will allow me to achieve a higher level of knowledge, success, process, comfort, comfortability, or confidence. We believe in our ability to overcome we know it's difficult, but that doesn't mean we can't do it. We know it's hard, but that doesn't mean we can't try. We know it's far, but that doesn't mean we can't start walking in that direction today. Believing in your ability to overcome requires you to start, requires you to try, requires you to lay one brick at a time each day and that's all you need to do don't overwhelm yourself with the end goal because there's a lot of process in between now I'm not saying don't write down your goal because you need to know where you're going 
But once you figure out where you want to go, stop thinking about it. Start thinking about how am I going to lay this next brick? Where am I stepping next? Where's my next support step that I can rely on from a firm foundation of knowledge? Where do I go next? So then the ones that are following behind me, when they step in that spot, it's firm. So you don't even realize that you may be a leader to somebody else. And it may not even exist until, you know, years later or whatever. But think about the process and believe in your ability to overcome. And as you go through each and every day and you lay each brick by the end of the year, by the end of the following year, and the next year and the next year, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna be like, yo, I laid all them bricks? I didn't even realize that. That's because each day you were just focused on how you needed to step through the process. So don't overwhelm yourself with your end goal Swing for the fences, but once you write down your end goal and you know the direction you want to go in, start. Do that kind of thing. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? So you trying to build out the IoT network of the future? Yeah, that's what we're doing, right? Oh, snap. Okay. So, we're building out the IoT network of the future. And you can look fresh, look good, while you're building out this network. That's what this is about. Future Self Apparel, Crypto Apparel, IoT Apparel, the Future Self Collection. Head on over to Dozor.com to get your apparel today. Look, all you had to do is head on over to Dozor.com, right? And go to Future Self Collection right here. When you click on Future Self Collection, it'll bring you up to all of the hottest gear that we have going off right now. And we got more designer gear coming out, right? So, check out the shirt. We got the hoodies. We got the zipper for the fall time. We got the polos with the hats. We got the bomber jacket. We got the leggings for the ladies, right? We got the power bank if you want to help, you know, Power up your uh, uh, mappers on the go. We got the nice mouse pad to put on your desk. We got designer leather belt. What? A leather belt? Yo, man. And we got designer shades. Don't forget about the men's joggers. We got the future mug and the future pack. Put all of your hotspots inside this bag when you're going out building out the network. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to dojo.com and support the IoT mission. My name is Simon, I'm the CTO and founder of PSB Advanced Technology, where we're here to bridge the gap between IoT and you. Test our limits to the edge of our comfort zone and beyond. For those that are looking to enhance your future self and to level up, this is something you're going to want to do. You're going to want to seek projects to test your limits to the edge of your comfort zone and beyond. Work on a skill set that you currently have and then start thinking about how you can challenge yourself with that skill set. If you read one or two books a week or one book a week, start thinking about how you can challenge yourself to one and a half books or two books in a week. If you do a hundred push-ups challenge yourself how could I do this exercise a little bit differently what happens if I put my feet up on the chair and do push-ups that way and put my hands closer together and create a diamond you know these are challenge yourself these are ways you can challenge yourself to the edge of your comfort zone so you're not changing 
exactly what you're doing because you're still within that comfort zone, but you are challenge yourself to the max, to the limit of that comfort zone. And then in doing that might allow you to see a new perspective for then you can see, hey, maybe if I do it this way or if I talk to this person or if I learn this skill set or if I watch this video or if I do this task, it will show you the door to the new zone outside of your comfort zone and that's the beyond we believe we possess the skills to pull through even though others may not this is a tough one because when you explain your vision to the world when you explain that or, or even say that you want to enhance your future self, you want to level up, you want to do something different, you are unique, you want to be loud, you want to be this, you want to be that, whatever. All right? People can't help it to take in that information and automatically, um, how do I say this, automatically push their fear onto you. So... You may say to somebody, hey, you know, I'm going to do this, that, and the third. And they may say, oh, well, you can't do this, that, and the third because I couldn't do this, that, and the third. What? What does you, what does you, what does you, what do you, what does your, your fear, failure or fearfulness or whatever it may be have to do with me? Because you experienced that and your experience was whatever it is, you know, subpar, failure or uh, unsuccessful or what, you know, that you didn't continue on. Like, don't, don't think that I'm supposed to go through that same progression as you. And that's one thing, you know, as a people, we kind of got to remember that just because your progression was this way that does not mean someone else's progression will be that same experience and that's also kind of like not not it's kind of like not right to sit there and be like yo you're gonna da -da 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 -da, just because i went through da -da 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 -da. you know what i mean so the ones that truly believe you know, that you can level up, you want to enhance your future self. We believe that we possess the skill sets to pull through, even though others may not. So just because you couldn't see how to pull through that obstacle, that doesn't mean that I won't have the ability to see how to pull through that obstacle. Maybe you didn't challenge yourself enough to obtain the necessary knowledge so you could progress in whatever obstacle you were going through. Maybe you didn't even really try as hard as you say you did. You know, so don't put your limits on me. That's not right. Because people that truly want to level up, people that truly want to enhance your future self, and I'm not saying it comes easy. I'm not saying it comes in one day. And I'm not saying you're not going to go through hell. But what I am saying is we are different because we seek the edge and travel beyond our limits. We seek the edge and travel beyond our limits.